Hey folks, so I recently started buying pieces little by little, paycheck by paycheck, to start putting together a sort of a hybrid, off-grid, on-grid sort of home backup um, system for my house. Um, the main goal for right now is just going to be I'm going to have my refrigerator, my 5G internet, and some other stuff plugged into this, so if the power goes out, it will automatically, this will automatically switch on to the battery power, and so it's going to act like a, a UPS, basically, and just flip the power right over instantly, so none of those things will lose power. Um, I ended up getting this Sun Gold Power, um, this is like an all-in-one unit. These are great because they do everything. You don't have to buy a bunch of separate items to be able to do this. Like this is a 3000 watt inverter. <clears throat> it's a battery charger. It's a solar controller. Um, you know, it does everything. And it has many different modes to it. So you can have solar priority, grid priority, you know battery priority, you can make it UPS priority, you can pretty much set it any way you want. Um, and this unit will take up to 14 to 1600 watts of solar, so it's, I'm not going to use that at first because I'm still in a condominium right now, so I have an HOA, so I can't put panels up, but if there was an emergency, I do have you know, 300 watts worth of panels I can put out in the front yard during emergencies, they're fine with that. I just can't mount them permanently. So I went with something that was more, you know, leaning towards the UPS side of things for now. So um, I'm still gathering parts for this. I've got two Power Queen uh, 100 amp 12 volt batteries to start me with, and I've got this big honking breaker. <clears throat> um, Four to go between the batteries and this unit, um, you know, so you can turn the batteries on and off, and it's a surge and it's a protector, a breaker. So, um, so to get started, basically, I mean, when you buy this thing, you're on your own. It's there's no wires, there's no there's no way to plug it in. You got to start from scratch. So the first thing I did was I just took this standard extension cord and just cut it in half and strip the wires on it so if you look closely there's a AC input and an AC output and I basically just stripped the wires ran them through the back of the unit and wired them up <clears throat> you know um, live neutral ground on one side and you know live and neutral on the other for some reason I'm still not sure why there's no ground on the AC output. I haven't fully gone through the manual yet, so I'm not sure why there's no ground on it. Maybe they went cheap. Maybe it was a space saving thing. I'm not quite sure, but uh, I'll have to figure that out later. But I'm probably gonna end up wiring an outlet probably to that output um, down the road. I'll probably just stick with this power cable for now, but I went ahead and just wired this up just to make sure the unit worked while I'm waiting for my other parts, it, it powers up, it power goes through it, through the input and the output, and you know, screen comes on, everything works fine. Um, so it's not a fault, I just making sure it's not a faulty unit while I'm waiting for the rest of my parts. So I'll can, I've got some battery cables coming. Um, so once those get here, I'll be able to find, to fully test this out and decide where I'm going to mount it and how I'm going to finish wiring it up. Um, oh, and that's this also right here is where you put, where you wire the solar panels in right here. And then right here is the left and the positive and negative inputs for the battery and you run the cables through the back there. So as soon as those cables arrive, I'll continue this video. Okay, well, I finally got my battery cables in and you can see I have them hooked up to my big old breaker switch here. 
go into the inside. I'm hooked up to the inside of the box here on the positive and negative. Um, got the battery, two batteries connected together in a series to make a 24 volt system. And um, got everything on. I've got connected a solar solar cable here to the um, solar connector here. And so everything's all hooked up and it's up and running right now. Um, when I first turned it on, it's getting lots of beeps and faults. Uh, so I shut it off, tightened everything down, shut it back on, but then I had to go through the menu and change it, change a bunch of different parameters on the menu because um, you're going to want to go with the defaults on a lot of the items in the menu and make sure a lot of them are on defaults. But you also have to keep in mind that it's by default it's set up for gel batteries so I had to switch it to lithium batteries in the menu. The menus it's a little it's a little wonky you know I'm trying to figure out but um you'll get it after messing with it for five minutes or so. So now I just need to and you can see now it's I've got it connected to the grid and it's bypassing the battery you can see um, I've got it set up for grid first and in UPS mode, so whenever the, um, oh, hold on, my cat's trying to, come on, buddy, my cat's trying to get up on here, so, um, yep, so I've got it set up, so, so whenever the power goes out, it will automatically switch to battery, and I'm gonna, I've got it, I've got it just plugged in right here, so what I'm gonna do, I've got a fan on, and what I'm gonna do is just, unplug it unplug it from the grid real fast fan stays on no interruption and the inverter gives a beep and you can see it switches instead of bypassing now it's going straight from battery to the outlet so working good there was no interruption at all when I unplugged the um, unplugged it from the grid, so the UPS is working. So let me I'll plug it back in. Boom! Plug back in. Gives me another beep, and boom! Bypasses the battery, goes straight back to grid. So it's working like it should. So now I just need to figure out where I'm going to mount this thing, and um, that'll be the next step. Okay, so this is where I have it set up for right now. Um, sort of on the end of my counter in my kitchen. I probably wouldn't recommend putting it in a place like this if you have kids or dogs or something that could get, you know, mess with the wires or anything. I just it's pretty much just me and cats that have access to this, so I'm I'm okay with it for here for now. I thought about putting it maybe on top of the fridge up here on the wall, but I would have had to got a stool out every time I wanted to uh, access it. But um, <clears throat> yeah, right now I've decided just to have my um, just my my security cameras and my internet hooked up to it, so. When I'm not home um, and the power goes out, I can still access my cameras um, and the internet stays on, so that's kind of important. Um, as far as my refrigerator goes, um, I've got a portable 12 volt fridge that's like battery power that's way more efficient than this refrigerator, so if the power is out for a couple of hours, I would just use that and move important items to that cooler instead of trying to run this you know, big fridge. I've, I'm not sure how long it would take to kill these two batteries, but I can't imagine it would be, you know, <clears throat> I'd have to look it up. I'd have to calculate it, but my, um, my internet and my security cameras would probably run for days onto these two batteries. Um, I may bring a lamp over here too. So if the power goes out, it automatically stays on. So I have light over here as well. So I can start hooking, fans and 
extension cords and other things over here if the power stays out for a while. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, if you did have, you know, dogs and kids and stuff, I'd probably recommend um, putting this someplace, you know, more hidden in a way. I've actually put, um, actually put electrical tape. I had the I had plastic, you know, pieces over the top of the um, the battery terminals here, but I went ahead and put electrical tape over them as well, just in case one of my cats decides to climb up here and sleep on the battery. <laughs> so you know, you never know; they could make a connection somehow. You know how cats are. Anyways, well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.